Today I'm bringing y'all some Grinch themed DIYs that even the Grinch himself would love. Keep watching to see how it all comes together. On this channel, I love to share easy DIYs and budget home decor. And if we haven't met yet, my name is Lisa and this is Our Gray House. Now y'all know I've got to do a book stack and I'm actually kind of recreating the one that I did last year, but putting the colors in different order. For the green, I used folk art matte paint in the color citrus green. And then for the middle section, I'm using folk art chalk paint in the color white. And I used painter's tape to protect the white so it wouldn't accidentally get paint on it because for the bottom, I'm using Christmas red. And on the ends, I had just freehanded the green and the white, so I also went back and cleaned up those lines. And I used my Cricut to make a vinyl decal that says, You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. And I used the font Grinch 2.0, which I think I got from Defont.com. And I also embellished one side with a red with white polka dot rib, um, ribbon. And I just had it in a knot, just trying to keep it like super simple. And now that I'm watching <laughs> all of this back, I see that I'm, I realize I'm missing the apostrophe on there. And I'm giving this to someone, so I need to fix that. And it still turned out super cute though. And y'all tell me what you think about it in the comments below. Now this video is part of the first Friday playlist that I host every month with my friend Sarah from Jujube DIY. And if you've not checked out her channel, y'all are missing out. Lots of great content and really creative ideas. And our guest host this month is Monica from Up All Night DIY. Let me tell you about this gal. Her painting and creative skills are just top notch. And she also has some crazy good DIYs on her channel. So check it out as well. And I'll link their channels along with the rest of the playlist below. So check it out after you finish watching my video. Now DIY number two is a simple ornament and I'm taking this little cup that I got from the party section at Dollar Tree and I'm tracing around it onto some cardboard. I cut that out and I make sure I'm not cutting it too small as it has to fit the opening of the little cup. And then I paint the front and the back with that citrus green color. And my idea was to fill the cup with something green. And I saw these green pom-poms and I think I saw them at Hobby Lobby. And then I thought of another project to use them for so I bought these little foam beads from Dollar Tree and now follow me on this. I thought I'll put some Mod Podge down and put some phone bees on it and there to like make it look full. Y'all, these phone bees like were possessed or something. They, I was trying to wrangle them and they just kept moving like totally on their own. I didn't even have the ceiling fan or anything on. And so then I poured a bunch in the cup, but they were not easy to work with. It was crazy. I did put some hot glue around the edge of the cup. And yes, I know it's plastic and not really the best option, but it is what it is. And so I didn't realize that the bottom of the cup had like a little edge to it. So instead of drawing on a face, I glued on a wooden heart that I had painted red and that's it. And that's super simple, easy project. And it turned out cute. Now this project is going to be a great example of doing it one way, not working out. So you have to go to plan B and I'm just painting the entire frame with white chalk paint. And I used some washi tape to create some diagonal lines of different sizes. And I didn't have any real pattern in mind, just kind of eyeballing it. And then I used the Christmas red paint and I painted the frame. And before it was dry, I removed the washi tape to kind of see how, you know, you can kind of see how it looks. And I repaint any lines if I think it needs it. And then here's the mistake. So I didn't prep the chalkboard. I just painted it right on top. And then second mistake, I used permanent vinyl to make a, ster a stencil. And then I painted the same color on first and then painted on the white. And when I removed the stencil, I mean, you're fixing to see it. I just, it pulls up the green paint. Womp womp. So I scraped it all off and then I went with plan B, which was basically to repaint it and make a decal out of white vinyl. But this time I used Expressions Vinyl Paper Transfer Tape and it worked like a charm and it didn't pull up any paint. And this is how it turned out. I added a messy bow in the corner and I did outline the letters so that they pop a little bit more, but tell me what you think. All right, here's another super easy DIY. I just painted these blocks that I got from Dollar Tree white all over. And then I made another stencil and I applied those to one side of the cube. So the W went on one cube, the H went on another cube and so on. And then I painted over the stencil with the same white paint as the base. And for the cube that had the vill on it, I painted it with the Christmas red. And after painting, I removed the stencil so it doesn't dry and make it harder to remove. So like while it's still wet. And then for the other cubes, it's the same process, but this time with the citrus green color. I paint on the green and while it's still wet, I remove the vinyl and then I paint the next one. Stack them up and you have a super cute decor piece. I love it. Tell me what you think. Last DIY turns out so cute. Dollar Tree has these things that were like drawers or like cube 
and cube type thing. Anyway, I paint on all sides with that citrus green color. And then I take this scrapbook paper, which apparently I'm not going to, I'm going to keep it a secret, not show you right away, but I trace the side of the cube that has the cutout piece because I'm going to cover it with the paper. And I put a little bit of Mod Podge on that side and I press down the paper and let it dry. And now that it's dry, I take my finger sander and I sand down the edges to give it a smooth finish. And this is a great way to trim off the excess scrapbook paper and um, it, it finishes out really nice. So then I also take my drill and start drilling holes in the middle of what will be the top. Because this is not good wood and it can splinter easily, I start with a really small drill bit, bit and gradually move up to the larger drill bit. And then just off camera, I have a picture of Grinch, Grinch's face that I'm using as kind of a guide and I sketch out the face onto these cubes and I go back with a black paint pen and go over what I just sketched. Now for the eyes, I start off with a yellow paint pen to fill them in and I go back in with a deeper yellow craft paint to help them stand out more. And then I take the black paint pen to draw the pupils or I don't know, is it heck? I don't know what it's called, but it is, I'm drawing the eye. You can see I'm drawing in the eye. Now for the fur, the tuft of fur on the top of his head, I thought about using this thing that I got from Dollar Tree. It's like a bow. It's in the gift wrapping section. I think it looks fun, but not quite what I was going for. So I'm just going to use this bow that I got from Hobby Lobby and it's, I'm just taking off some feathers and then I'm trying to attach them together with some masking tape. And they aren't the easiest to work with, to be honest. And also my cats thought it was a toy for them. So there's that, <laughs> but they kind of kept like flying all over and stuff. And then I put each bundle of feathers together and then I just put that in the hole that's on top of the cube and I use some hot glue on the inside to secure it and that's how they turned out I think they look so fun and cute tell me what you think below that's what I have for y'all today and I hope you enjoyed it I think they all turned out so super cute and will go perfectly with the core pieces that I made last year speaking of here's a glimpse of what I made and I think I'll, I'll link that video up in the corner for y'all to enjoy don't forget the links are below for Sarah and Monica's channels as well as the playlist. I have a crafting group on Facebook called Crafty DIYs on a Budget. That's going to be linked down below as well. And if you want to follow me on social media like here on YouTube or over on Instagram or on TikTok where you'll see lots of fun videos and sometimes my husband pops in, my handle is Our Gray House, but just don't follow me in real life though because that's creepy. Bye!